Well, I thought it was a recording video of these two. I just now opened Karin there. But uh, it's funny how the, this worked out because Cece here, you know, I've already had a picture of her on my Instagram. She's got a flock tail and flock bunny bunny ears. Got her from Tokyo Otaku mode. And then it somehow... It must be the medications I'm on. I don't know. Look at her. She's very nice. Nice, nice batukas. <laughs> Buttocus. <laughs> anyway. She's got the ace of hearts there. I ordered her for off of Tokyo Talking Mode because she wasn't expensive. She was like um, 20, 30 bucks, something like that. It was. It was extremely reasonable, and these are probably uh, Crane Game prizes. Good spawn presto. Karen was from Diamond. She's got what has she got in there? She's got the Queen of Hearts. And nice buttocks. Look at that back. Oh, girls' backs like that. I guess they are. Amazing detail there. But she's got talent. <laughs> Let me just say. Yeah, and uh, she's flocked too. I did I didn't I did not realize that I had ordered her somehow I forgot. I ordered her via diamond, my comic book guy. And I got her from Tokyo Otaku Mode. I'm very pleased with both of them. They're about about the same price. That's you know, funny girl figures. And we've seen lots of her, lots of fan artwork of her on the, well, on the electronic me medium. Fascinating. She's absolutely wonderful. Now, I haven't had a chance to store, to display these anywhere. I keep them in the boxes. Wow, that, the camera on this is not bad, actually. All right. Okay, I've got three more I want to show you in the same one. It's nice how uh, these two came from different sources, and they didn't conflict, and they didn't get duplicates or anything like that. I mean, yeah. They are what they are. Yeah. All right, let's move on. There's about three minutes with this, so let's move on to another one. Another one which I had gotten from uh, um, Tokyo Taku Mode. In fact, uh, when I consider things, she had been the first uh, figure I had delivered to my new my new apartment, my new address. I'm gonna put this up here. And I think I've posted a picture of her. Well, I have two, two of Sakura Jima Mai. Butayaro. Team. Team Butayaro. Team Pig something or other. And the reason why I ordered her is because of her hips. And it's, uh, another one, another one of these that wasn't uh, expensive. The delivery for this. I ordered at one point and it just kept getting pushed back and back and back. Yeah, she's not even out of the packaging yet. But I have looked at her. Yeah, let me move this over here a little bit. Move this back down. All right. All right, let me see how the packaging here part here. Here we go, pops. You know, I, I tried to see her hips right here. Look, look at that, that. That is just beautiful. The way this just, the detail of that. Very, very sexy. I, I guess I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what they call these. I mean, I think they call them vagina bones or something. Yeah, whatever. She's got flocked ears. And if you can get your finger on it. I think the tail's flocked. 
me take a look. Yeah, it is. It's fuzzy. Nice fade. Nice expression. Got the hair clip. The thing is, this those these will attract dust like crazy. But man, their hips. That's, I love that. I mean, the bunny girl outfit is supposed to be kind of tight around the waist, but in the in the abdomen right here, around the hips. Wow. She just could be breathing inward and sucking it in, whatever. But girls, that kind of feature, oh, joy to look at. She was right there. Yeah, I haven't had her out of the package very much to uh, actually admire her. I'm very happy with this. This finally <laughs> shipped. <laughs> The last thing I got at my other uh, my other apartment was uh, a quarter scale bell dandy, which I scored for fifty bucks. And a lot of people said blue leg. No, she was she was uh, legit, very well made, very pleased. Now I don't know where I'm going to store or display a flocked Sakurajima Mai. I have another one that she's not flocked. And I got her off a of wish for like, oh gosh, under 20 bucks. Very, very happy with this figure. So we're going to move on to the next two. Okay, this one came via my comic book guy. I'm going to move, move it up a little bit. I, I don't know, I don't remember if I had an option of getting one or the other. This is part of the Bi Cute Bunnies, as you can see. And uh, I haven't had this one open yet. So let's get my tetanus blade. We'll break the tape. There we go. And I just have a mess over there. All right. Oh wow! Now these are bigger because <laughs> I've got one other, one more to show. All right. And she's got the micro fishnet, which I've never <laughs> really liked putting together when I. Okay. Let's take a break here. All right. All right. Oh, she's got her own body bag. <laughs> and, well, maybe not a bag. Okay, that is micro fishnet. The hell they got that on here. Now look. Ooh, she's not flocked. Well, her, look at the back here. Very nice detail. Wish I could have afforded both of them. Yeah, this this moves around. Yeah, be sure not to drop a a. a, a uh, Bunny fit figure with um, this kind of stuff and damage that because it, it is easily damaged. So. All right, I'm very happy with that. I'm happy with that. One more. Okay, last one to show is this one, this monster box. My goodness. And she was in the price range. My price range. My price range is like 20 to 30 bucks or so. And that was via Diamond. And I ordered. <laughs> of course I'm going to order. Uh, now I have had this one open. I have looked at it. 
and I'm very, very. Ex <laughs> I want to. I want to have her set up and and, and uh, shown. Trying to. She's got white fish net. I don't. Th no, I haven't. I haven't even cracked the. This is going to be very hard to get out. There's the stand. Okay, there's a lot of pieces here. Her buddy ears. Oh boy. <clears throat> well, this isn't micro fishnet in any in any means. We move the plastic, the shipping plastic. Okay. There's a hole on top of her head where the ears go. And yeah. Does that match what's on the box? Very nice. Lots of detail for the money. She's my second favorite Miku figure. My favorite Miku figure is the uh, Magician Miku uh, Miracle Paint Garage Kit by Bubba, which I, I have on, on display, Catching Dust. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. I think there's like $27, something like that. Very happy. Yeah. So. And this video has gotten, gotten on too long. As it is. But if. Uh, let me see how. Okay. Here we go. And. Yeah, she's too close to the camera. <laughs> All right, we'll do this. Yeah. Didn't have a bunny bunny girl figure of uh, Hatsune Miku yet. Now I do. I don't buy figures all that often because mostly I'm buying manga. But most figures are like $300. <laughs> and she wasn't. So, yes, you can still collect figures. I'm going for a theme. I like bunny girls mostly. I do like the china dress and the maid outfit. And uh, anything else that strikes my fancy and in my budget. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Give me a, a finger. <laughs> Not that finger, but anyway, thank you.